okay till now we have an FID file now the FID file I copy it and then paste it in exam data which is a folder inside our uh, broker and top spin so then I just click it and just scroll down and go to your uh, target folder for example I have a target folder of uh, number 13 in which I have a molecule just for an example I will show you for example I have a DIM 16 I will click it then click it and it opens up it opens up it this way uh, if sometimes it if sometimes it opens like this way we have integrals and we have sorry we have integrals and we have peak peaks where two different types of properties which are on your uh, spectra and you need to delete it before you actually uh, do your uh, NMR characterization because this is from your uh, machine uh, and that's not calibrated so what we do is we go in analyze then we go on peak peak we just select uh, we just select pick pick then select all picks and delete it then uh, we go back to uh, integrate then we just select and delete everything so before the, after deleting we you need to save and continue so doing this now my spectra is like looks this way then I go for solvent calibration is my first step for example I have used CDCL3 where the solvent peak comes around 7.26 ppm if I if I used DMSO in place of CDCL3 it would come around 2.5 ppm and the peaks the solvent residual, residual peaks actually uh, are given in another slide so that you can find your uh, appropriate solvent in that so I will calibrate the uh, solvent peak by going to process then we have calibrate access I clicked on the calibrate access then I just click on the 7.26 uh, peak then I need to adjust it to 7.26 and then say okay then basically my solvent peak is calibrated then the second step is I just go for integration so I know in my molecule what is given there in the next slide I have a four aromatic protons I will start from the aromatic region so I I will go in analyze then I will do integration of the peaks so you have you can see the color of the uh, line what is inside uh, uh, under the uh, cursor is black I need to click this to select it to make it red so now this is active now you can do the integration so integration is uh, nothing but you need to drag your uh, this one or the peak basically it will take your area so in this peak I have solvent peak also so I am just uh, making it um, zoom in so then I will select it and I basically do the integration of this so I will follow the same thing I am going this way I am doing integration I am doing integration so I know from my calculations from the structure of the molecule that I have a methyl group 
which is supposed to come around 2.5 so I will go and make a right click then there are certain options then I will calibrate it a CH3 peak has three protons then I say three then say OK then basically you can see the this has now changed to three and all of my protons are now in this range so now you can see it's 1.6 so let's make it let's delete the current integral let's put it this way we will do if I calibrate it and make it a uh, 3 now you can see there were the protons were around 1.5 now you can see the protons are almost 2 so you can see here so in these the two uh, the two peaks are almost overlapped so I will integrate it once more this way so we have so we have the spectra which looks like this then you just save it and go to pick peaks and just drag your mouse on your peaks just drag your mouse on your peaks it will show you basically the uh, like the ppm x-axis scale where your peak is located then you basically say you save and return now if you zoom it you can see this was your doublet it's around 8.08 8.07 so a doublet is around 8.07 so when you basically write an NMR you take the J value of it by measuring the distance between the two peaks it's 7.45 Hertz is the J value that's nothing but the coupling constant value so the doublets have coupling constant value because the protons two couple each other that's what we have three peaks here and as, as I already told you this is 7.26 peak this is for solvent and we have one more doublet over here as you know we have four protons of the benzene ring in our molecule so that confirms the part of benzene ring now we are left with only the aliphatic region in which also we have confirmed the methyl group is present the aliphatic methyl now we have only left with the two morpholines while two morpholines have uh, 8 8 16 uh, protons 16 protons almost we have four here eight here and four almost here because the two protons are overlapped so there must be some uh, like there, um, there must be some other uh, impurities also but I confirm that my molecule is now almost it is uh, yeah synthesized what I have predicted so then finally you need to go to plot to plot it and you need to you can delete this by this you can you can just decorate it the way you want to we have so this is we need labels so labels are here we need peak labels so for example integrals I need and I want everything in black so I do it this way I make it 14 to look it more good so I don't need uh, I don't want these integral curves I remove the curves to look it much better so then if it is two points I'll go to two points if it's 
12 14 according to what is what what is good like the resolution of peaks and resolution of the uh, figures and all then in excess I go to this and make it round 14 is fine then I go for axis I do the same thing I know black I make it two point then you say okay then all color I select like this way and make this then the grid I make this also to the constant I'm putting and the straight line saying okay if I go back to peaks this is two point and okay we have integrals at two point and okay so basically now you are almost done then after doing this you need to go to go to this um, option then export it then you can export it on your desktop you can open a folder open a folder of nmr then inside nmr you can just put it one one dot it's a proton nmr so one 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 proton dot we say the extension jpj and say okay it saves 300 or 400 dpi watch out then basically if we go back uh, we would be able to see the graph then uh, second more uh, the the NMA was proton now we can look at the carbon NMR which is easier than the proton NMR you can see if we, we cut it then we go to basically the carbon NMR it will open up like this so we have the and we have the solvent CDCL3 it's around 77.15 we have a triplet of equal uh, intensities then basically in this also we need to delete the peaks the same way we did then we need to collaborate the same way we did in the NMR but the values are different the, those those values you can take it from the uh, what is provided in the in the slides of solvents then you can basically collaborate in that way and just pick pick in the same way I did and then basically you get different types of carbons what you have for example I have here it is on 21.51 I have methyl and one more thing in this APT we have this is APT C13 we have two different phases one is plus phase and one is negative phase in negative phase we get uh, like if we get uh, CH3 uh, we also get CH protons we get in you know, order like it it can be on one side CH CH3 and another side it can be quaternary and CH2s so we confirm that we have the two different types of uh, CHs inside this and we have a CH3 so that confirms we have uh, f four carbons which are in aromatic region but uh, they are they are only having the two types because the substitution is para substitution so by this way you can see we have carbons in the aliphatic region and we have these carbons in aromatic region and all the carbons which are having less intensity are from the quaternary carbons as i told you the upper side the positive phase is the uh, is for quaternary carbons in this graph i think i hope uh, you understand uh, the the basic way how to plot these uh, plot these uh, nmr spectra thank you very much